हेलो एवरीबॉडी हैव ए गुड डे टू ऑल आई हैव प्लान टू अपलोड सम ऑफ द टॉपिक्स इन बायोलॉजी व्हिच इज स्पेशली रिलेटेड टू जूलॉजी एंड इट बिकेम हेल्पफुल फॉर बोथ इंटरमीडिएट डिग्री स्टूडेंट्स एंड फॉर ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स कंपेटिंग फॉर द डिफरेंट एंट्रेंस एग्जामिनेशंस आई वुड लाइक टू टीच ए ब्रीफ and giving concept of some topics so that it make the students uh, to go through their books and enlarged descriptions for their preparation it might be helpful from different aspects today i have planned to go through apoptosis through the process of apoptosis i will detail describe the intrinsic mechanism of apoptosis in this video and subscribe the channel for the forthcoming uploads after it as all we know the process of apoptosis is a common process which occurs in multicellular organisms only in case of unicellular organism it is not found the process of apoptosis takes place in multicellular organism in unicellular organism it is not found it takes place both in embryonic condition as well as in adults when the zygote undergoes the process of cleavage it produces embryo at embryonic stage the process of apoptosis started all the cells of embryo are not needed by the process of organogenesis after formation of embryo organogenesis started during the process of organogenesis some of the cells enter into the process of programmed cell death some the some of the cells enter into intentional death intentional death process the intentional death process is called as apoptosis it is all about embryonic cells and if we take the example of adult cells generally 50 to 60 billion of cells 50 to 60 billions of adult cells enter into uh, the process of apoptosis for the pro- for f- functional ability in adult the detailed process in 1842 in 1842 the process was first described by karl vogt and in 1845 it was later on described by fleming fleming described the detail process it is one of the intentional process which help in maintaining homeostasis in the individuals this is one of the intentional process i have already told you it is intentional it is required by the cells while it is uh, different from necrosis if we take the example of necrosis tell we know necrosis is a process in which the cells are also destroyed by the process of mechanical injury any type of stress any type of physical and physiological pressure the necrosis takes place but in apoptosis the process is different apoptosis is purely intentional and it is needed by uh, it is a non intentional process kind of apoptosis is one of the intentional process the it was all about the introduction now come to the need of apoptosis why apoptosis is needed in organism first it prevent infection then how it prevent infection 
if we take the example of infected cell the infected cell when it is destroyed by the source of infection which is a biological or non biological agent immediately the cell enter into the process of programmed cell death and during the process the infection fail to spread to the further neighboring cell the second one is morphological functionality tell what is morphology what is morphological functionality if you take the example during the process of embryonic development suppose this is a structure of limb this is the structure of limb a mass of cell after organogenesis suppose this is the structure of limb during the process of organogenesis from the mass of cell such type of heads are formed mark these are the lines these are the digits the cells lining the border of digits are compelled to enter into the process of programmed cell death after the process is over the digits became free the digits became three so that these digits can perform their function freely and the organism also perform its function so this is the morphological functionality it is needed then the third one is prevention of division of cancer cells the cancer cells are prevented to divide because when the cell became tumorous it enter into the process of programmed cell death and the cancerous ability whether it is benign or malignant it cannot spread to neighboring cells then it is one of the natural programming process then what do you mean by natural programming some it is uh, determined by the genetical ability of the individual that is how many times a cell can divide when the cell enter into any type of anomalies immediately it is disturbed metabolic source of energy for neighboring cells what is it what is metabolic source as you know the neighboring cells depends upon energy for their further growth and development when the cell besides it enter into apoptosis immediately the fragments of cells are digested by macrophages or engulfed by the neighboring cell which became the source of metabolic energy these are the all these are the needs of then come to occurrence it was first described in synorhabditis elegans it was a, it is one of the nematode in case of invertebrates later on after discovery in elegans it was discovered it is discovered in other group of organisms that is in case of all invertebrates and vertebrate groups in case of invertebrate and vertebrate the process takes place in neuron neuron mostly in vertebrate uh, during development of brain most of the neurons are eaten away by the process of apoptosis neuron in muscle in epithelial lining epithelial cells it is also found in other zones mesodermal zone such as uh, gonads gonads intestinal cells tell it all these organs all these sources enter into the process of apoptosis from the view of occurrence it is found drastically in all multicellular organism in all multicellular organisms then come to type of apoptosis we have categorized apoptosis into two types the type 1 is uh, faster and a simple process what happens in type 1 suppose this is this cell during type 1 apoptosis the nucleus is destroyed first nucleus 
destroyed. The new destruction of nucleus followed by the cell death. It is a faster process. In case of type 2, suppose this is the cell, this is the nucleus. No harm is done in the nucleus first. Immediately during the process of apoptosis, there is a large vacuole formed inside the cell. Vacuole. After formation of vacuole, the vacuole started engulfing all organelles. It digests organelles. That means the cell organelles, mitochondria, ribosome, Golgi bodies, that is the powerhouse of cell, and other accessory metabolic organelles have been destroyed. After destruction of cytoplasmic nucleus, eh, sorry, after destruction of cytoplasmic organelles, the nucleus is converted into fragments. Then it leads to cell death. Cell death. Here there is the dissociation of cytosol and dissociation of nucleus takes place. But here the dissociation of nucleus followed by cytoplasm. It is a very much simple and faster process. This type 2 is rather slower in comparison to type 1. Then come to basic mechanism what is involved during the process of apoptosis. In view of basic mechanism we have to conclude that there are two basic events. One is morphological events during cell death. The second one is biochemical events. We have to first discuss the morphological events. What happens? Suppose this is the cell. During apoptosis, the condensation of nucleus started first. It is a very much longer process. As we know, there are NPC, nuclear pore complex. The nuclear pore complex have a major role in altering the viscosity, density and the internal pressure of nucleoplasm. When the nucleoplasm is disorganized, the nucleus en enter into the process of shrinkage. That means this nucleus is called as condensed. Condensed nucleus. After condensation of nucleus, the cytoskeleton which are extended throughout the cytosol, they started splitting. When the cytoskeleton split, the cell became disorganized. Already the nucleus has been condensed. Then cytoplasmic condensation takes place. Cytoplasmic condensation. After cytoplasmic condensation, the cell now became in this type. These short processes are called as, these are called as blebs. The process is called as blebbing. The blebs gradually increases. Blebs gradually increases. The nucleus converted into fragments. Immediately, the cell also converted into small fragments. The fragments are taken off by uh, macrophages by the process of phagocytosis. This is the real mechanism or morphological view. Let me to repeat during the process at first the nucleus condenses. The condensation of nucleus is followed by cytoplasmic condensation. It produces blave by the process of blaving. The blaves gradually increases. The cell converted into small fragments. After fragmentation, it enters into the process of phagocytosis. From biochemical view, we have talked about morphology. Biochemical analysis, it is found that 
there are certain death proteins called as cas phase 3 cas phase 3 initiate the process of apoptosis it is started promoting protease protease nuclease these are the group of enzymes these are proteolytic enzymes these are nucleolytic enzymes the protease and nuclease together produces bleeding and ultimately it leads to apoptosis process we have to discuss the detailed effect of these enzymes in the pathways then come to the pathway of apoptosis there are two basic pathways of apoptosis the first one is intrinsic the second one is extrinsic pathway what is intrinsic that means the stimulus for the process of cell death is derived from interior of cell derived from the cell itself so it is called as intrinsic mechanism it is a very much simple and faster process what about extrinsic mechanism the extrinsic mechanism derive the stimulus out of the cell out of cell any other source and it is a slower and complex process in this video we will discuss about the intrinsic pathway detail and the extrinsic mechanism in the coming video come to the intrinsic events in detail what are the detail events of intrinsic pathway first of all during the first event there is a process of stress in cell stress what are the causes of stress the first and major cause is genetic damage that is the damage of dna genetic damage is the major cause of genetic stress of the stress of the cell the second one is any type of anomalies of physiological process anomalies of metabolism metabolic anomalies the third one is less o2 consumption by the cell when these three processes are appearing inside the cell we can call the cell it is in stress condition after the process of cell uh, process of stress the cell immediately decide itself not to do any type of harm for the neighboring cell then cell decided decided to die it is intentional i have already told it is intentional when the cell decided to die the process of apoptosis is carried out what happens then the cell immediately started activating a group of proteins cell started activating a group of proteins called as vs3 these are pro apoptotic proteins the vs3 groups are these are pro apoptotic these are pro apoptotic proteins it cannot initiate now vs3 started stimulating a group of other protein families called as BAX and BAK. These proteins, what are the role of these protein? They started stimulating a axon inside the cell called as MOMP, mitochondrial outer membrane permeability. So this is the mitochondria outer membrane and inner membrane we have already studied it has converted into cristae the outer membrane started producing semi permeability pores through these pores this is called as mitochondrial outer membrane permeability the outer membrane permeability started releasing 
साइटोक्रोम सी टू दी साइटोप्लाज्म ऑफ द सेल और साइटोसोल ऑफ सेल व्हाट हैपेंस नेक्स्ट टू इट व्हेन द साइटोक्रोम रिलीज टू द साइटोप्लाज्म व्हाट हैपेंस इट गिव ए सिग्नल फॉर अपोप्टोजोम फॉर्मेशन अपोप्टोजोम फॉर्मेशन सिग्नल वाज गिवन बाय इट दिस इज द मेजर पार्ट व्हेन एवर द MOMP is formed the cell cannot reverse itself from the apoptosis that means it must enter into the programmed cell death when apoptosis formation takes place the cell death became faster that is initiated the apoptosis consists of a group of proteins these are a group of protein proteins the apoptosis consists of group of proteins which are very complex protein it convert pro caspase 9 into caspase 9 it is the primary event of apopto pro apoptosome whenever the caspase 9 is activated immediately it activate cas phase 3 and cas phase 7 cas phase 3 and cas phase 7 are activated by it immediately after formation of cas phase 3 and cas phase 7 from cas phase 9 cas phase 3 stimulate nuclear disintegration nuclear disintegration and the caspase seven that is cytoplasmic or uh, mostly it is harmful for the process of cytoskeletal elements cytoplasmic disintegration cytoplasmic disintegration takes place when the nucleus and cytoplasm are destroyed the cell death is stimulated it is all about apoptosis of intrinsic mechanism we will discuss later actually